Hey guys, what's up? It's Emmy. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing an ultimate recovery routine. I'm feeling very sore from this week's workout, so we're just gonna do a nice long, really like extra recovery routine. But yeah, I just wanted to share what I'm doing to really help my body recover and get ready for this next week of workouts. So first things first, I have my handy dandy foam roller here and I always neglect foam rolling because it hurts, but it's always so good afterwards. So I'm going to do that right now, and I'm going to be in some serious pain, but you'll see. Yeah, I'm honestly not looking forward to it, but it's it's fine. We'll be okay. <laughs> also, Sophie's here joining the video. I feel like she always pops in some of my videos, so she's joining today, I guess. So I have this foam roller right here, and then I also have this thing right here so i'm gonna use both of them this one's just like easier to use obviously because you just roll it yourself this one's more painful for sure but we're gonna do both of them so i'm gonna start out with the easy one right here i'm gonna use it on just like my quads this this isn't fun okay i wanted to give you guys a better ankle just so you can like see but this one i just kind of I have no technique to it. I just kind of roll through here. It's like a rolling pin. I used to use rolling pins on my legs or like on my back too when I did swimming because that was just really tough on the body, you know? Oh yeah, I found a good spot. This hurts really bad. So I'm mainly focusing on my legs right now for the foam rolling because the next step is kind of gonna target my upper body. Also, it's kind of hard to foam roll your upper body and like your back area and stuff. So we're just going to take care of that a different way. What also will help with like recovery is stretching, especially after your workouts. So make sure you take time to stretch after your workouts and actually cool down your muscles. And it will help with soreness a lot. I did stretch this morning. Always my dogs barking my videos. So I'm just gonna stretch my calves out because they are so tight. This hurts so bad. Also, this is technically a hamstring stretch, but my calves are so tight that it just takes over and I don't stretch out my hamstring when I do this. I'm literally just stretching my calf. Okay, now for the real burner. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use it right on like my glute hip area. And this is where I'm feeling so sore. So I know this is going to hurt so bad. But it'll be so worth it in the end. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Yep. Ow. This is really bad. One last thing. There is like a technique to foam rolling. So like when you find like a spot that's really sore, you just kind of rock side to side on that spot and that will help kind of loosen things up really work that spot out and yeah that's just a technique that i've learned do it if you want if not just roll back and forth whatever whatever feels good to you quick outfit change but that's because i'm going to be using some cupping techniques on my traps and lats area that is where i get the most pain most tense like those are just very tight areas on me so we're gonna try to loosen them up with some cupping this kit is just off of amazon and it was like 30 dollars and you get a lot of cups here like quite a bit so obviously like do your research before you start cupping yourself and make sure that's actually going to benefit you because i'm not trying to tell you to do anything that's going to cause you harm but i like to use lotion on the spot that i'm going to place the cup that way it's like less harsh on your skin and stuff and then you just place the cup on there and you only need to put it on for like 10 minutes but again please do your research i'm not trying to tell you what to do whatsoever this is just what i'm doing and then here we go Oop. Oop. i usually do two to three squeezes depending on where it is and just how tight it is i always like to do like a google search of where is okay to cup on your body 
before doing it, but I've done these areas multiple times, so I feel fine and comfortable just going ahead and doing it. Ooh, this one hurts on my lap right now. <sighs> oh, okay. Ow. Ooh. Yeah, this isn't that fun either. It hurts pretty bad, but afterwards it feels nice. You are left sometimes with like a bruise like thing, but like I wear a shirt most of the time except at the gym. So really only when I'm at the gym you can see them. But here's here's that one. You can kind of see how it's pulling everything up. And so depending on like where it is, it can bruise more easily than other places. And sometimes you can do like extra stretches while it's on there to just really loosen it up. Yeah, you can do your own research on the benefits for this. I'm not certified in cupping whatsoever. I just do it on myself only. I used to get it done on me at physical therapy and it really helped me then with my certain injuries. So yeah, that is why I'm doing it to myself now. I really just do one side at a time just because it's easier. And sometimes if you move around too much, they can just kind of like pop off. And yeah, I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to wait and then we'll do the other side. Time to take them off. I already took this one off because then I was like, oh, I should probably record it. But here's this one to take it off. I just pull that and then it comes off. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There's definitely a mark there. This one's not too bad, but it's definitely there. All right, let's do the other side. I already put lotion on it. Okay. This one doesn't hurt that bad when I'm questioning that it doesn't hurt. Okay, now it's starting to kick in and it hurts. Ooh, okay. That one hurts. That one hurts. Okay. This is fun, right? Recovery is fun. I, I think it's great. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you when this is over with. <laughs> okay guys, time to take it off. I can't wait to... Oh yeah. That one hurt really bad. It was unbearable. That one wasn't on super tight. Yeah, that one's not bad. Yeah, they're okay. Okay, and now the part that I'm most excited for, going to use the sauna. I'm so excited to get in the sauna because I really just need this right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be using an infrared sauna and yeah, let me just get some shorts on and then we'll head down to the sauna. Okay guys, we are out of the sauna. I am extremely hot and yeah but it felt great i was in there for 30 minutes i just know i always feel better after i'm using the sauna so yeah there's a lot of proven benefits to it as well but one thing you always need to do is make sure you hydrate after because you just release so much of your water retention and you really need to make sure that you're putting water back into your body water is also just a great thing to consume in general for recovery like if you work out you need to be drinking water bring water with you to the gym make sure you're replenishing after your workout as well it is always good to stay hydrated so some things you can do at home if you don't have access to like everything that i'm using here are to make sure you're drinking water make sure you're stretching like stretching is so important and really undervalued and underlooked like you need to be stretching and yeah, stretching you can easily do at home and it doesn't have to be intense like it can literally last five ten minutes and it's better than not doing anything also some good things for recovery is having rest days like you don't need to be working out or active every single day you should have at least one rest day if not two depending on how intense your workouts are if you have more that's great rest is where our body repairs itself and it grows stronger other things are sleep like you need to be getting a good amount of sleep seven to nine hours is best that is so undervalued i feel like people like to stay up late using like technology and stuff like that but you really need to make sure that you are getting enough sleep that will help 
you recover sleep is number one out of all of this i could be doing all of these extra things and if i'm not getting enough sleep i'm not going to feel refreshed but the next thing that i'm going to do is something that you can do at home at least i believe is take a nice warm bath if you have a bathtub if not take a nice warm shower hot shower help soothe those muscles but i'm going to go ahead and fill up a bathtub and I'm gonna put some muscle soak in it that helps relieve sore muscles but yeah recovery doesn't have to be super extra it can just be simple and it's still efficient hey okay, guys I just washed my face because I'm gonna be taking a bath so I'm not getting my face wet when I'm taking the bath so I washed off all the sweat from my face from the sauna and I'm just gonna wash my hair tomorrow after my workout I'm doing a morning workout so no point in washing it now so this is the brand right here so let's go ahead and fill this tub up 